Good afternoon, electromechanical trainees. Today is Tuesday, 14th of April 2020. Our subject uh, is Mechanical Drive System MDS. Uh, today, our topic uh, is components of a gear drive system. So, a gear drive system consists of three basic components. These three basic components are driver gear, driven gear, and idler gear. So here with the motor attached is driver gear. This one is idler gear, which is in between the uh, driver and driven gear. This is driven gear. The driver gear transmit power to the driven gear through idler gear these both are connected through idler gear definition of circular pitch so what is circular pitch and pitch circle first let's talk about circular pitch so circular pitch is the distance between one point on a tooth and corresponding point on the next tooth when measured along pitch circle. First we will talk about the circular pitch and then we will talk later about the pitch circle. So circular pitch is the distance between one point on a tooth. So this is one point on one tooth and the corresponding point in the same point on other tooth so on this tooth we have considered this point on the left side so on the next tooth this is the other point on the same left side so this is the distance between one point on a tooth and corresponding point on the next tooth and it is on along the pitch circle so let's talk about the pitch circle what is pitch circle so pitch circle of a gear is the location on a gear where speed and torque are transmitted actually these are the points pitch circle is made by joining the points on gear teeth where when two gear mesh together make contact actually these points are responsible for transferring speed and torque between the gears so you can see here you can see here the two gear mesh here so if we extend these line to other teeth we get the pitch circle so pitch circle is the location on a gear where speed and torque are transmitted this occurs at a contact point between the gear teeth okay along a line that passes through the line of centers of the two gears so you can see here this line passes through the center of two gears so this is the contact point so this point is the pitch circle Now pitch diameter, importance of pitch diameter. The pitch diameter is the diameter of the pitch circle. We talk about pitch circle. So now let's talk about the pitch diameter. So the pitch diameter is the diameter of the pitch circle. This is pitch circle. So the pitch diameter is this line. So 
the diameter of the pitch circle is responsible for calculating the speed and tar data transmitted to the driven shaft. The pitch radius is half of the pitch diameter. So this is pitch diameter. So half of this is half of this is pitch radius. So half from the center here this is pitch radius. From here this pitch radius from the center to the pitch circle at any point is the pitch radius. The pitch diameter is important because it can be used to calculate the speed and torque which are transmitted to the driven shaft. The pitch circle is important only because it allows you to determine the pitch diameter. Okay. So pitch diameter is uh, this pitch diameter is important because with the help of this we can calculate the speed and torque and this pitch circle is useful only to determine the pitch diameter. The term pitch length uh, doesn't apply here is was in case of the bell drive system because the gears are in direct contact with each other. Now gear ratio using pitch diameters. So you can calculate uh, the speed of the gear using this formula. GR is short for gear ratio. PD is the pitch diameter. DVN means driven gear. And this pitch diameter is measured in inch inches. PD DRV is the pitch diameter of driver gear. DRV stands for driver gear. So we can use here the gear ratio. So let's see how to calculate this in the next step. So this is the formula. Gear ratio is equal to PD DVN divided by PD DRV. Now here is an example. Pitch diameter of the driven gear is 4 inches and pitch diameter of the driver gear is 2 inches. So you just simply put these values in the formula. So 4 divided by 2 we get here 2 ratio 1 so it means 2 ratio 1 means that if the driven gear completes one revolution, the driver gear completes two revolution. Since the driven gear is bigger in size, 4 inches, and the driver gear is 2 inches, half of that. So when driver gear completes 2 rotation, the driven gear completes just 1 rotation. That's why 2 ratio 1. So 2 is the rotation of the driven gear and 1 is the rotation of the driver uh, driven gear. We can also calculate the gear ratio with the help of teeth on the gear. So 
gear ratio is equal to number of teeth of the driven gear divided by number of teeth of the driver gear n d v n stands for number of teeth on the driver gear n d r v stands number of teeth of the driver gear so this is another method to calculate the gear ratio now here an example is given now number of teeth on the driven gear is 22 and number of teeth on the driver gear is 11 so gear ratio is equal to number of teeth of the driven divided by number of teeth of the driver so 22 divided by 11 we get 2 ratio 1 here you can see on the driven gear we have 22 teeth so more number of teeth so the number of teeth on the driven gear is more than then the number of teeth on the driver gear so if the driven gear completes two rotation for one rotation of driver gear you can see here the driver gear is smaller so it will complete two rotation for every one rotation of driven gear 